you are listening to the Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., the founder of the Body Regeneration Method. And I am here to empower you and teach you how to connect to the God consciousness like you've never connected before. Tune in every Tuesday, 8 a.m. Pacific, right here on Transformation Talk Radio, where I combine science, spirituality, and ministry to help you unlock the secrets within so you can finally let go of what's holding you back. If you are truly ready to break free and bring in the new and stop wasting your time, join me and together let's unlock your superpowers so you can live your extraordinary life. Welcome. I am so happy as always to have you here both for our returning listeners and our new listeners. What a joy, what a treat. This week's show, we are going to be talking about Ask You Shall Receive and your words. It is also a call-in show, 1-800-930-2819, if you'd like to call in. You know, um, it's been an incredible week, and I have a few things I want to share here, because asking and you shall receive, it's, it's the time the energy is right for creation and manifestation. There's a lot of stuff happening on the planet right now. I was talking with my Miraculous Academy and Effortless Academy about this. And I want to share a little bit on the radio today with you guys because you tune in, faithful listeners, and really shift you a little bit. There's been so much talk around about the viruses and viruses going around. And I don't like to put labels and names on things. But I want you to understand that everything has an energy and everything has a vibration. And it was interesting, you know, going into stores and watching people panic and all of this happening. I want you to remember something that usually when we get into a fear zone, you have a, you have a power right now. This is why we're going to be talking about your words. We're going to be talking about, you know, how you can move through creation because we've, we've literally jumped into an incredible vibration this, this month of March. Uh, really things happening quickly, synchronicities, deja vus, and you're like, what's happening? This is why it's very interesting. This this whole area around this panic, it will, you'll see it drive, um, kind of die off there, but it's it's for much bigger reasons. And if you, if you feel into that fear, usually what happens if you get afraid with um, viruses, especially, or things you've heard in the news, I want to remind you that the reason the fear comes up is because there's something within your physiology, something within your cells, in your body that has had a memory of this. So typically, and I wasn't going to talk too much about this today, but I do, it was really on my heart. God's like, just remind them that it's, it's a memory you've had. So whether you've had somebody in your, your own lineage, or you've had experience of your own self cell memories and how they work in the body they do pass down that's why you look at ancestral patterns or ancient rituals or you know past experiences because they do show up in your body and um so a lot of times what happens is when something like this on a global level you can see the fear bubble gets really big it's awakening something which that's already in you that you've had an experience so that will determine if your fear kicks in or not. I recently had something that popped up. I was listening to somebody talk. It popped up in my feed. And I follow them because um, for business, I, I really like to, there's certain people I like to listen to on business and not necessarily in this area. And he was talking some things around health. And I realized that it sort of jarred a fear within me. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa wait a minute, stop. Where's that coming from? And it was the experience that I had had around what he was talking about. And I didn't realize there was anything else in there. And um, so I had to clean it out really quickly and then tune back into what he was talking about. I'm like, does this truthfully really affect me still? How do I feel about it? And then if you if you feel nice and clean after that, that's fine. But if you're still feeling some fear or vibrational shifts in there, it's important to get to the root. What is it? Maybe you have to make a new choice or a new decision or not hang around people that are talking about those negative things. Turn off the news. Um, big thing, right? So when you start to understand, I went into a lot more depth with um, my academies because they really get it. And I never want to throw anybody off on the on the radio show, but it's really to understand where those vibrational frequencies are. So don't get caught up in it. Do some of more of your your research, but really look within. It's about looking within. There is on the planet right now, I have been talking about this for years, especially for people who follow me for years. 
we have it on video. I talk about it in my, in my groups a lot about how this year, last year, we really started this year, next year, there is going to be a, a big exodus of people. It's been happening and people are always reaching out saying, Tracy, why is there such an exodus? However it comes, whether it's a global issue or a virus or whatever, what you need to understand is that in 2012, Many people made a choice to not be here during this time of great transition. So what does that choice mean? It means, do they want to stay or go? It's, we're going to see crazy things this year, crazy good things too, and crazy things as things dismantle. And you'll be like, what's happening? But it is to reset the foundations you hear me talk a lot about. So it's going to happen. The, the key for you is to understand there is that space, that reason. And there's nothing worse than someone telling you, if you've lost a loved one, oh, it all happens for a reason. Like, really? Okay. Yeah, we get that. But you have to go through the grieving process. You have to understand that there's a process there and that's okay. So don't be hard on yourself. A lot of people are like, I've been really hard on myself. Don't be. You know, it, it's a part of those memories. When you're with people that you love and care about, your friends and your family, we create these imprints, right? And the imprinting of them. So basically it's like a merging of the bodies, right? It's a merging of the souls, the spirit on some level, they call it imprinting. Kind of like how ducks imprint, right? So this imprinting happens. And then what happens is when they leave that imprinting, it's why it takes so hard for people to get over a divorce, that energy of that person that you shared those experiences with, any part of it that has a soul tie, a connection to you is lifting up out of the body. So it's leaving out of the body. So you'll have more pain. You'll have that more of that little bit of that suffering, right? So that's okay. Be gentle with yourself. So I wanted to just bring that up a little bit before we get to our callers, because I want to make sure that you understand. People have asked, so I thought, okay, here you are. You can listen to a little bit of it. Um, I want to talk a little bit about our words, what's happening in March. So that's a little bit heavy stuff. We'll clean that out. Thank you, God. But we have to talk about it. If we don't talk about it, you know, not everything is roses and puppy dog tails and pigtails and whatever that saying is. It's just not. And so what I like to do is to make sure you understand the reality of it. And then how do you move through it? Right. Action is the best key. So how do we move through it? That's what we're here. This is what we do every week is to help you shift. And then you move through it to a higher vibration. So March is really this new level, this new layer. I've been celebrating my birthday for the last week. We have another week of celebrations. And I love my birthday. People are like, why do you love your birthday so much? And I love it because when the more, if you can't celebrate you, don't expect other people to celebrate you. It's no different than if you don't love yourself enough and you don't really love yourself and are kind to yourself and nurturing, then why do you expect somebody else to be that to you? I learned this the hard way, so I pass it on to you. So I always celebrate myself. And people are like, how come you're so vocal about your birthday? How bad is that? No, that's a judgment. That's a label. And it's because we need to celebrate ourselves. So I want to thank that hand of God for you guys to celebrate yourselves and celebrate every part of you because you're here. It's your journey. And start celebrating, not just on your birthday. That's your New Year's. That's your new beginning for your, your next year. But celebrate every aspect of who you are. So I turned 29 again. That's always my joke. But no, <laughs> my big birthday is next year. So we'll see how that goes. But um you know what? It's you got to celebrate yourself. So please take that energy in. So a few things I want to share with synchronicities, words, ask you shall receive. What are you looking for? So very interesting. This morning I got up and I heard, I like steep tea every once in a while. I'm in Canada. So if you understand Tim Hortons, they have what's called steep tea. Um, so I go in and get this tea, 11, 11. And, uh, I haven't gone for a long time. I make a lot of my tea at home because I just prefer that. And I thought, no, I kept hearing, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go. And um, I thought, that's kind of odd. So I always go to this one and they know me. They're always so happy when I come through. It's I've been going there for quite a few years. And so uh, I went through. And this lady came running around the corner and she says, Tracy, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. And she gave me a little gift card. She goes, I've had this since like Christmas for you. And you're our favorite client because you're always nice. People to go, go through these drive throughs and be nice to those people. You know, it's a hard space. So I listened. This is part of asking you, Rochelle, receive. I listened to what that knowing was. It's like, you've got to go out to get your tea today. You've got to go out. And there was a gift there, which was very, I was blown away. I was like, oh my God, thank you. I was sort of going, okay, I have to go. So maybe I need a little bit of the drive. There's people on the road that need a little bit of extra energy and love today because I always send it when I'm driving. So that's very, very important. The other thing that's part of the asking you shall receive is how you're asking. But also a lot of people have been asking me right now, before we get into this, the synchronicities. Why are there so many? Why are there so many deja vus? 
because the energy has shifted so much right now that it's allowing us to be in these really like mental connections. And I'm not going to share what this is totally because it's kind of a surprise, but I had started working at a lot of clients that said to me, Tracy, I want, I would love it if you could create something that we could purchase from you that was in gold. And I'd heard this loud and clear. So I started to work through this process and um, working through and designing, creating. It was fun. I'm like, okay, God idea. I always say God idea. And then I went out with my, my team for my birthday and they handed me this box and I told them nothing. And that what was in the box was exactly what I was creating. So they had also picked up on the message. This is how tell, uh, you guys are getting very telepathic. They picked it up. So it was, it was almost identical to what I had been working on to create that people had asked me for. So they picked up. And the reason you must understand it. So it was beautiful, right? The reason you have to understand this teaching right now that's so important and I'll align you more is people in your field will telepathically be picking up your words and your thoughts like never before. So if you don't know how to ask properly and you're not in the mouth and the heart, not the mouth and the head, this information can get very skewed. But because we're in this vibration of being able to really catapult ourselves to another level of really creating and manifesting, do you see why I started the top of the hour? We don't want to be in the fear. Because if you're in that fear zone, you're going to be creating and drawing a lot of that in because of the way the energy has shifted. So I really, how can you ask and how you can receive? I'm going to hold that thought for you because I'm going to just make, I see a point here. I'm going to hold the thought. I'm going to go to our first caller, Maria, for a reason. And we're going to go there for a sec. And then I want to come back and really get into how you ask to receive, especially now in this vibration, better than you ever thought possible. All right. So ask and you shall receive. Why is this an old teaching, but so powerful? So your words. All right. If you're getting up in the day and you're saying things like, I feel really yucky today, or I have a sore throat today, even if you do, or you're like, every day is the same, or every day feels the same. What do I do? I don't know what to do. You know, it's kind of like, feel that energy. It's sort of like Eeyore. Remember Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, Eeyore. Eeyore is always gloomy. He's always having a bad day. And he's like, everything sucks. Guess what? If that's the vibe and what's coming out, you can feel that energy goes a little bit lower. So what comes out of your mouth connects to the heart. This is that vibration, right? So then what happens is the mind and the brain start to think about it. And the mind and the brain are going, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what we have. Not so good. You're vast for bad traffic. The tra- if you get up in the morning, you're saying, it's going to be really bad today. Or I know the traffic's heavy. I need to leave early. Or I know the traffic's going to be horrible today. I better take this route. Things like this coming out of your mouth or I'm never going to be good enough or no, I dropped that ball again. So I guess that's not for me. You start creating labels on yourself, which creates energy vibrational frequencies. Then what happens is it starts to pull you more in the direction. So that's why I say if you're, if you're listening, here's an example. If you're listening to the virus stuff going on right now, then you go to work. Then you talk about it. Then you hear it on the news. You create an imprint in the body. Then if you start speaking, oh, we better go get some extra groceries because A, B, and C, now that fear vibration picks up. It's that fear vibration that now starts to pull it in. If you can start and change your wording to, wow, today's a really good day. Thank you, God. I'm really, I'm really knowing that today is going to be a better day. Today's a better day in the traffic. Thank you, God. Today is going to be easier and watch for the day to be easier. I had a a girl in my class. She said every day she was thanking, she's like, thank you for no traffic. Where I live, there's a ton of traffic. So she's like, thank you. There's no traffic. Thank you. It's ease. Thank you. It's grace. She goes every day. She'd send her angels out. She goes, it was perfect. And then she said one day it wasn't perfect. There was an accident. So she was a little frustrated. She goes, what, what? And I said, but the accident was there to help you 
So you wouldn't have had any more issues. So she was like, oh my gosh, thank you. She's like, thank you for really making sure that I am in perfect alignment. So I have safety and I have guidance, changing the word, not protecting, but safety and guidance. So by teaching you how to use your words differently, and I want to teach you a little bit more how to ask, then you're going to see things are going to shift. So I think Maria's back, Zach. Is that correct? Hello. Hi, Maria. Hi, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know me, I love my birthday. <laughs> oh, hey, you're a true Pisces. What can I say? I am. A, well, you know what? I kind of am and I kind of not. It's interesting. Some people like that. And then when they, they start to really watch me, then they're like, are you sure you're a Pisces? And I said, yes, in many ways I am. I love being a fish. <laughs> Aww, that's nice. I love it. Tracy, What's your question I today? Um, I, I'm I, like, okay. I'm one of these people that have thought to stay on this planet. Um, I've been through a lot of hardship and I yeah. know everyone else has their own battles as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, uh, anyone special, but I've been really hard on myself mm-hmm. and my health is a big worry to me. And I tend to live in a scared mode. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Terrified. Um, um, it's not scared. It's actually terrified. Hang on a second. Yeah. Different word. Very different. Okay. I'm going to remove something and this is about words and I'm going to recant this and rescind this and pull this out of your field. You just said I'm no one special. Oh, okay. First, I'm going to start by pulling that out because it's actually not true. So did you hear me? That t- oh, I'm going to gag. So hang on a second. Just sit tight. I want to pull out everywhere you have spoken words like this to yourself. So this is what I call the label. So you say, I'm nobody special, which is actually not true. You're here. You have a reason. You have a, a purpose. But you've been hard on yourself because that's an imprint you picked up. Even you can see while you were in the womb. So you heard a lot of this language. You picked a lot of this up. It's called imprinting. Like you heard me talk about the ducks. So let me first start to remove the accumulation of energy where you say, I'm not anyone special. So what I want you to, re- I'm going to override and impart and speak into the body to open the heart because your your heart space has had a hard time opening, which is because of you live in being terrified. So if you're okay, I want to start to open that a little differently. Are you okay with that? Oh, definitely. Oh, it's okay? Okay. So let me start. This might make you emotional because I'm going to start to pull you down out of the brain into the heart. And what I want you to start to do, if you're using the one simple tool to start to say, I am so special. Like you heard me start to celebrate. The reason I celebrate myself is I understand where you've been. I never used to. But like I said, if we don't celebrate us, it makes it harder on the planet. The planet is you, you're very, you've been empathic, so you can see that's not rocket science. You know that what makes you terrified is your health. You've created the health issues, which we can start to pull back and where those imprints come from and the implants. I'll remove any past life information that's showing up right now. Thank you, God. I'm going to move this out. I'm also going to remove any um, ancestral generational. So we'll say curses, ancient rituals, things like that that come up. We can remove all that accumulation. Thank you, God. I'm going to start to pull this out. Now it might be hard to breathe. So let me just adjust this in your system a little bit more. The health issues have been created because what happens when we have, we move into being terrified rather than just scared I call them enemy spirits. Some people call them nasty energies and I know them well. Um, As you know, I've I've dealt with a lot of them and they're there usually for the brightest souls. So when you've gone through this much, you can see it's like, um, do you ever feel like you're being pushed down, like energetically, like weighted down, like you're carrying tons of weight? A lot, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start to lift this off. This is what these energies do. People are like, what are you talking about external energies? I can't see them. They are people, places and things. But there are other energies that start to weight the body down that are able to come in when we speak ill will things about ourselves and poor things and, and don't ever, I'll, I'm going to remove this. Don't ever feel bad for what you, what you have said to yourself. We can start to reverse it and override it because I hear you like, and especially too, as empaths and and people that are on these journeys of really expressing it's not uncommon. We find things always wrong with ourselves and beat ourselves up and compare. And I'm going to start to pull some of this energy out of you because I'm going to lift it off your shoulders. Basically these heavier energies have been weighting you down 
to keep you feel less than, to keep you feel like you're not able to shine. But you can see deep, deep, deep in your, like in your whole reproductive area, there's a burning that wants to actually come up because you've never, ever done anything that you know you want to do for you. Have you noticed that? Everything you do, you sacrifice for somebody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, I did it for my ex-husband, for my boy. Yeah, yeah. So you have also an imprint that says, if I sacrifice for someone else, it's it's an old, it comes in the old religious lines. I'm going to pull it out for you as well right now. It's really quick. We can pull that. And I'm going to override it for freedom. And it's like, the freedom so we can look at what they taught you and what they taught you was boundaries and speaking up, but you're now ready to step into it. This is the bridge part that makes it hard where you look at the planet and you're like, okay, I'm going to let go of all this imprinting. I don't want to be there. And now I'm coming into who I want to be. This is, it's like watching you at the edge and you have like a, like a, you know, a parachute. I'm ready to like push you off the cliff, but you're going to fly. You're going to be okay. <laughs> yeah. How, how does that feel when I say that? How does your body feel right now as I move this out? It feels like it wants to go. Yeah, it's really ready. Um, and this is where I said today, it's really important with your words. I want you to actually track them for about a week. It's a really cool exercise I give people. It's, it's not an easy one to do for a week, but literally keep a pen and paper, a little scribble note, and then just, oh my gosh, I thought that about myself, or I said this, or this person said something not so kind, and I, I started to change. I felt it. So what also the other thing is, what we want to do is I'm going to set up your system so when you do this, your awareness is going to become so strong that you're like, thank you for sharing, and that's all you have to say. But then you say to your, your inside, not outside voice, but inside is, I'm not taking that in body. I just say, I'm not taking that in. Thank you for sharing. And your body wants to start to repair, but it almost looks like as well, if you're okay, I can move this out. Um, your body's gone into a little bit of what I would call hypochondriac, where you'll be looking for things in the body based on the health stuff you've already gone through. That, I got to stop doing that. Yeah. This is your root. And I love this because it's like the only reason you're doing this is because your body is turning inwards going, I need to feel like I'm in control of my life somehow. So if you can diagnose this, if you could see, 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 and it also is a way for you to be seen. So your health is actually very similar. I used to, I was like this when I was very sick most of my life is, and this is not uncommon for very strong empaths. You really got to anchor this in how empathic your whole body is. You're a huge feeler, but you haven't been seen, you haven't been heard. So now you are creating this hypochondriac space, which I'm going to start to pull out. It's a, it is a virus in the mind that we can pull out and overrun and empower that I'm okay. I got this. I don't need to share this with anyone. I don't need to be seen like this. I'm ready to step in my full power. So let me just remove this out of the brain. How does that feel now when we step into that? Feels good. Yeah, there's a lot of energy leaving out of the left breast and also behind the left on the back. So your left side, down your left shoulder and into your arm as well. The reason that's happening is because the heart is opening up. So do the one simple tool and then pull the energy. And it's like, I'm not accepting that. I'm cursing that out. I'm rejecting that. Little words like that will push that negative self-talk away. What you'll also notice now, and you can let me know how that's going, is you'll notice that people will start to irritate you or frustrate you more if they're not honoring your new transition. That's where it's been. Every time you've gone to transition to be you, somebody's come in to pull it back. Now we have to strengthen you to say, yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying that. Don't care not buying that and they will frustrate you a lot so that's what you need to look for okay thank you so much you're so welcome lots of love let me know how you're making out okay okay and drink some water <laughs> drink I some water will, will. so much love <laughs> You know, I love it when we get to shift, take the shifts in. I'm so, I can't believe we're all at the bottom of the hour. We've got so many more things to do here. I know we have a lot of callers on the line. Um, check us out, tracylclark.com. If you're in the Miraculous or Effortless Academy, those are those places where, or the Evolutionary Academy, I'm with you. I'm with you live on a very regular basis, helping you and shifting you. We're at a time, you don't want to be sitting in that fear. You don't want to be sitting in what's happening on the news. You want to be prospering, creating, and you need to have that with community. 
with community. It's why I've created the way I have. And it's why I encourage people to look because when people start coming in, they're like, oh my gosh, like I can stay focused. It's very hard to stay focused on your own into the glory space, into the realms of unlimited possibilities. And people can come up with all sorts of excuses, but you have to decide, are you important enough to make yourself a priority for 10 minutes a day, 90 minutes a month? Like, are you a priority? Like there's so much in there to help you be a priority, to stay strong and to stay centered and to have me with you. And I just want to encourage you to check it out because- When people come, they're like, oh my gosh, we empower you, teach you, uplift you, and give you the next steps, the next steps. So I love you, and we're going to take a quick break. So we'll be right back, I believe, with Madura from Calgary. Imagine starting your week off with a teaching, a clearing, and an activation direct from the God consciousness. If you would like to feel more in charge of your week ahead, then I personally invite you to join me, Tracy L. Clark, for our monthly Soul Sunday non-denominational service at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, online or in person. All donations for this event go to the TLC Initiative Fund to help those in need. Sign up now at tracylclark.com and let's connect together in the glory realm. Hey, how's it going? If it's stressful or just plain exhausting, New Light Living is here to ask, is this the way you want to live? Join me, your intuitive spiritual life coach and host, Erika Sullivan, every week on New Light Living. Discover the power of creative tools to start living every day as your ideal dream day. See your life in the new light. To learn more, visit newlightliving.com. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on The Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life at 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at tracylclark.com. Are you ready to shift your life into overdrive and stop wasting your time? If so, then I want to invite you right now to the Body Regeneration Online Academy with me, Tracy L. In a world filled with so much information, you can get overloaded and confused, left feeling like you've tried everything and still no results. If this is you, then this platform is for you to help you step into your power, your intuition, and gain clarity. You will learn simple tools that you can use as you walk down the street, and I will teach you how to grow a stronger connection to the God consciousness. Imagine having me as your coach, shifting you, uplifting you, empowering you every week, and most of all, helping you stay connected so you can navigate your life's journey with ease and grace. Nothing will be able to get in your way. Plus, you will have a community filled with souls just like you to pick you up when you fall down and support you on your wins. No one can go this journey alone. If you are ready for your live activations, check me out at tracylclark.com and join the TLC Body Regeneration Online Academy now. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org.
Welcome back. It is so fast. Our hour goes so quickly together, but we are here every week, same time, same place. So you can join in, tune in. And don't forget, you can subscribe on iTunes and Spotify and all the great places. So please, please, please make sure you do that. It always means a lot to me and it helps our community as well grow. So pass it on forward the show. We want to make sure that every week you are being uplifted. You are being shifted. You hear me talk about in the intro about living that extraordinary life and to live that extraordinary life. People say to me, how can come, I say, live your extraordinary life. So many people toss that term around, but they don't live it. They don't breathe it. I can tell you guys, it's a great place to be from yucky over there to really embracing your gifts. And what we were just talking about with Maria is break, you know, embracing the gifts. And it's not easy. It's not waving a wand. It's coming in every day and saying, what do I require? This is a great way to ask and you shall receive. In the morning, you get up and you say, what do I require? What do I require today? What can I do to change or shift? What is it the next step? And asking also, you got to follow the sign. So I always do it this way. I say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for showing me the new. Thank you, God, for allowing me to see the truth about this, about this, whatever that this is, right? Thank you, God, for showing me the next steps. I so am grateful to be able to see the next steps. There's gratitude and there's thanking. Thank you, God, for removing the fear and the judgment out of my body and allowing me to step in to the new, the supernatural overflow of miraculous things and beings. This is what I teach you. Hey, you guys, if you're on our Soul Sundays, this Sunday, online or in person, we are going to be teaching more of your words and shifting and doing that clearing around viruses for you to step in. So it's watch your words, they have power. The words and the heart are power. So remember, if you're like, I'm afraid and you feel it, you're creating more of that. Best way to bring more into what you don't want is get into fear. So let's remove that and let's step you more into the love because we are moving to a really beautiful space. Do not get caught up. This is just the crumbling of what has to go for the new to come in. So thank you, God. All right, we have uh, Madura on the line, I believe, next. Is that correct, Zach? Yes, Madura from... Calgary, you are live on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Hi, Tracy. Hello. What's your question today? Oh, thank you. (laughs) So I've got a couple of questions. Yeah. The first question is um, how to open myself up to attracting more clients because now more clients are coming through and they're flowing, but just to kind of open myself to the right clients. Yeah, this one's actually, I love this one. It's very easy. How do you feel? You go into that vibration of feeling that space. I see where I have to increase this a little bit more for you, where it's like, yeah, like I got this. Like this, there's an energy, it's an anchoring and I got this. I can handle more. This is okay. There's no limits. When I say that, there's a little bit of angst up in the heart. I'm going to move out. How does that feel if I shift this now? How does that feel? Um, yeah, that it. I was like, I could my chest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the body has to feel this. So I love this exercise um, where it says, what is, what is your, your definition of your business? So write down a couple of words of the definition of your business. Uh, you know, what does it mean to you? Having compassion? Do your clients need to be compassionate? Um, is it loyal clients? Is it client? Are they clients that are, uh, willing to learn and willing to grow and experiences, you know, sit, I want you to sit with that exercise a little bit because when I say that feeling to come in, there's still that resistance and where you can see the resistance I'll remove is that space of what happens if I get overwhelmed? What happens if there's too many? What happens if I can't handle them? I got to remove this because that's the next layer coming up in your field. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. So let's remove all of that. Thank you, God. I'm going to pull that out and push you in. I want you to do that exercise because I want you to feel it. When you feel it, like I was just saying on top of the hour, like I celebrate myself because if I can celebrate myself, other people can. That's why it's been like the best birthday ever, right? It, It just keeps going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. But when you feel that, it's contagious for other people to feel it. So when you feel like I got this, like I got you, I can help you. I'm here for you, like your client, then you can actually pull. Can you feel the difference of that energy and how you can pull that in? Yeah. Yeah. So listen to this again. Listen to what I just said. Come back and rewatch the show and pull that energy in. And anybody else listening, pull that energy in. Because when you feel that, 
That's the creation. You don't have to do anything. Everybody's running around thinking they got to do A, B, and C. Then you're listening to the God ideas that are coming in. Then the client just picks it up and says, I, I just got to work with you. I, I just know I do. And they get the knowing. And that's the client you want. The ones that know, because those are the ones that are going to go say to other people, you need to go work with her. How does that feel? Because I got to make an adjustment here. Oh, feels sorry. Good. There. Yeah, that feels better. So anchor it in. It's like, yes. And it'll make you stand a little bit taller too. Yeah. Um, my second question for my husband mm-hmm. is he's looking for jobs. Now, yeah. Can we highlight him or move him more into yeah. being seen? Yeah, we can highlight him. And then again, that energy, what we'll anchor out is it's we got to get him feeling. So I'll strengthen this. Thank you, God. We'll start to strengthen this in the feeling of that's for me. So he's looking at some stuff he's not so sure about. Make sure that when he's actually letting people know what he's looking for, we can highlight his resume. It doesn't look like too long that we can highlight things that he's like, yes, this is what I want to do because this is the new energy right now is putting in the synchronicities and the alignment where we're all supposed to be for the next really 10 years because the words out of our mouth are super powerful creation with our heart for the next 10 years. That's what this decade is about. So he's got to feel it that I want to do this. I want to serve here. I want to be here. And when we can anchor that energy in, he's going to be golden. And then he'll be with a company. It looks like for longer that he actually really enjoys way more than what he was in before. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Let me know how that goes. Any help you need, you know where to find me. Yes, thank you. All right, lots of love. (laughs) All right, Zach, we have Jennifer on the line. Oh, did we lose Zach there? Oops, sorry. Oh, there we are. Jennifer from Toronto. (laughs) Had myself muted. That was my fault. Oh, that's okay. Hey, we're live. It's all fun. I love it. (laughs) Jennifer from Toronto, you are live on the air. Hi, how are you? Wonderful. I'm so happy you called in today. Thank you. Thank you. So I have two questions for you. I don't want to take you up for myself because I know other people need to help too. So well, we might be. One, you can uh, take it up because we are already getting close to the top of the hour. So we're going to do the best we can. This is your time. You called in. You were the next one in line. So it's your time. So no apology. Let's get rid of that. Okay, thank you. The first thing I'm going to ask to help me with is my immune system. You know the challenges that I'm going through. I'm not really too scared of the virus because I'm still living my life. I'm still going grocery. I'm still doing stuff. But I just want my body to be strengthened because of all the hype that's going on out there. Yeah, you know, this is a great one. And this is so also some things that you guys can also learn for people who don't know. I know, Jennifer, you'll know this, but for people who don't. Oh, hang on a second. I'm just going to clear the um, lymph ducts underneath your underneath your arms. Oh, there we go. Thank you. God. <laughs> because you got to have your lymphatic system moving before we can increase the immune system, right? It's all got to be moving together. You need that drainage happening. So we'll open up that energy pockets under the arms, which also connecting to the heart. Um, but this is also guys, this is that time. I don't know if you've heard me. I think it was a year ago when I was talking about the show, as we get into the fall, that it's really important. A lot of people get the flu in the fall and colder climates because they're not taking vitamin D. We get a lot of D from the sun. That's why a lot of warm climates are, they do very well because they're getting a lot of vitamin D. So get a good vitamin D, go to your naturopathic doctor. If you're listening, get a really good one, you know, ask them, just don't buy something off the shelf that doesn't have what you need. Do some research, get a really good one. And it really will change. So for the immune, you need that because when the sun changes in cold climates, we do not get that in our system. So it does affect our immunity. So very, very important. I know in the winter time, I always take a vitamin D. I am faithful on that. And it really, you might, you might get a little something very short if you're purging something, but for the most part, you, you'll find that your immunity will stay very high. So just for listeners, that's a tip you can, you can look at and, you know, get your, obviously eat properly and do your detox. A lot of times if we get sick, we're sick because we do need to do a detox. We have too many toxins in our system. So what does that look like for you? I don't know. My detoxes are usually fasting. That's for me. It may not be for you. So check with your naturopathic doctor for those people, but they're really cool things that are simple that you can actually increase for your immunity. 
I know in our Miraculous Academy, we have an incredible naturopathic doctor. It's one of the things I love about our programs is that we have incredible people of all backgrounds that can help you. And she's amazing. So um, very good. All right. So that's my little blurb there. But let's increase the immunity. So actually what's showing, Jen, is just anywhere your system had been weakened now or let's go back. Oh, so there is some repair in the immune system with virus that we do have to go back through your lineage. So where there were people in your family unit that had a weaker immune system. So hang on a sec. It's weird. It looks like it skips like generations almost. So let's clean this out because that'll affect your kids. So we can get rid of that too. And I'll remove any form of virus. So we're going to go through all forms of pathogens. Thank you, God. We'll start to remove the accumulation of the roots of the seeds of pathogens. When we do this, we also have to strengthen you to your internal environment and your external. So meaning what's going on inside and then also external, anything in your home. And then obviously where you go for the day. Thank you, God. Let's just pull this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up your drainage systems in your lymphatic system. So let's increase the immune. Now, where does the immune system go? Weak, guys. It usually goes weak within your liver. Why the liver? The liver does not just process your toxins. Everyone's always telling me, oh, it's the liver. The poor liver gets blamed for everything. It processes your toxins and not, or just not anger, I should say. Your little liver processes all the toxins and emotions basically from all of the organs as part of the filtration system. So you got to understand, we need our liver nice and strong and our liver functioning. So Jen, yours is functioning about 30%. You okay if we start to increase this a little more? Yeah, that's pretty good, actually, believe it or not. Most people's emotional camp, their liver, a lot of times when they see it is 15. So you should be proud. Okay. Hey, I just recently got mine to 100% over the weekend. So, you know, it would kind of go back and forth from 70 to 100. And I got it right back up. So let's do this for you, too. So we'll also reset the kidneys and the adrenals. And then we're going to just pull up a little bit of stress out of the nerve system. So central vagus and intrinsic, and we'll do all combinations, separate and together. Everybody will want this clearing, especially for viruses. This is a quick one. Thank you, Rod. We're also going to be doing deep, deep, deep. If you're on the online body regeneration class, it starts, I think, yeah, tomorrow. It's four weeks. If you miss, you get a replay. You can watch it a million times. But we'll be doing big, deep virus clearings there as well for you. You can check that out on the website. Okay. How does that feel, Jen? It actually feels a lot lighter, honestly. Burping away here. Yeah. People are like, why is that lady burping? I always burp when I clear. We get those energies that are stuck out of the body. Yeah. It actually looks, um, it'll be interesting to see how underneath your arms feel. You might need to stretch them a bit because you can see there's a heat going into the the ducts there underneath the armpit. So that's really good. And then there's also an adjustment with the um, lymph nodes and the lymph ducts and stuff in the groin area. So we're just going to attach the groin up into the armpits, the armpits to the groin so they can start to actually talk and be synchronized better. Thank you, God. Now, when those toxins come out to allow um, a release out of the body, also know that you can sometimes get those little lymph nodes, you know, when they pop up out of the body and they're a little sore? Yeah. 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 If you get some of those, one thing I always say to people is just put a hot cloth on them, a tea bag or lemongrass works really well. It'll just dissolve. It's just coming out. Oh, that looks really good. Well done. Let's just put a little bit more peppermint in your field and a little lemon just to clean it up a little bit. Good. That looks really good. What was your second question? Okay, so, you know, I'm off work for a Yes. And there's chaos going on there. They've brought on sudden changes on the staff and people are kind of reaching out to me now and I'm not even there. Mm-hmm. But um, I love you. <laughs> I don't want to. If, even if I go back there, I don't want to stay there for a long period of time. I think it's time for me to find somewhere else to go internally or elsewhere. Yeah. Um, when I get back, so I don't know if you could align something for me there. I don't. Yeah, think I we... want to stay there much longer. Yeah, absolutely. So the chaos and the turmoil that's happening there is because that particular system that you work in is going to have 
around the world, these bigger systems like that are going to have major change over the next year. Like to the point, or chills, to the point where people are going to go, what just happened? So they are being forced now for all their nasty stuff they've done and all the garbage that has been, you know, lies, <laughs> all the lies <laughs> around the world. So basically it's coming out. So one thing I love is they actually realize that you've your energy there has held a space. So it's a big void now. That's why they're reaching out to you because they miss that. Like you didn't realize as much. And people forget this when you go to work and you're, you're doing your work. They're high vibration. You're connecting to God. That is a transmission to everybody you touch. So your energy is still there. So it's like watching a, a, a ghost of you still in the work. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that energy is there. It never t- went out because you haven't, you haven't left there yet. So it's still there. This is why people don't disconnect from their old workplaces and their houses. Energy still can linger, right? So it's there. So I love the fact they're validating you. I love the fact they're saying, Hey, wait a minute. You know, we miss you. Don't get caught up in too much of their drama. Just I, what I would say and what it's showing very clearly is just, thank you for sharing. I, I'm sure it'll find its way. Thank you for sharing. I'm sure it'll find its way. Um, and then leave that because you're, you're so intuitive and heart centered. And we, we just don't want any of that messing with your field as you're getting really strong and into a better place. The other thing is we will start to align you into something new because you're getting ready. What I love is to more step into your gifts, your power, how you share, how you connect with people, how you speak, the things that you've learned. So there's this creative energy flow that I'd like to actually increase and strengthen more if you're okay with that. And I want you to start writing down because you're so connected to God and you get so many God, God ideas is a, rather than good ideas. I'd like you to start writing them down because it looks like it's like a wheel. It looks like we can start putting them together where then you're able to actually take that out into the world. And it, it, it's through other companies and people and places. It looks amazing. Are you okay if we strengthen that in? Of course, for sure. Uh, <laughs> and even if you get an idea and you're like, that's weird, write it down. Just write it down. Even if you have no idea where it's going, write it down. Because like I was saying earlier, the synchronicities, the way we're tapping into people, like I had um, a prime example, and, and you know this well, I had a, someone reach out to me the other day. I woke up at 3 a.m. There was some crazy energy in the house, but my TV downstairs was blaring full pass. Like it's just full blast. It was like crazy. I jumped out of bed. I knew there was some weird energy in the house. I kicked it out. I had to go all, I live in a four story townhome. So I had to go all the way downstairs, turn off the TV. And I was like, okay, that was connected. Somebody needed some help. Out it goes. And I removed the energy took me a little bit to get back to bed because the energy was a little bit restless. I moved it out. That day I got an email from someone who said, you know what? I woke up at three o'clock. You were in my dreams. You were getting rid of all this junk out of my body. And I woke up at three and I had this like creed. I was so unsettled and I'm like, Oh, okay. It was you. (laughs) So I had to pull it out, but this is what's so cool. And then she felt a lot better. So this is what's so cool with all this synchronicity happening that those ideas that might seem a little funny, they're all getting picked up in the ethers. So do you see why I want to tether this all in for you? Yes, yes, please uh, do. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I don't see you there for too, too long. It actually just looks like it's it's been there for a blessing right now for what you required. But you're correct. You can see it's like a book starting to come. Like we're at the almost the end of the pages and they're turning. So this means new chapter, new life, new way of being and better financial flow with yeah. that as well. And recognition for who you are. Cool. Oh, well, I'll take that. hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. <laughs> Thank you, God. I was burping out that little block there. Thank you, God. I love it. I love it. How does that feel now? It feels good. It feels exciting. Yeah. You're supposed yeah, to stay a little bit in the... Keep staying in the... Because yeah. the environment actually makes you feel stuck. So I don't feel stuck anymore. Yeah, because that environment doesn't want to change. The environment likes the old ways, and that's why it feels stuck. But they're going to be forced to change. This is a global force. Everybody working in these kind of areas like you are around the world, and they are all over the world. Um, There is not a country that doesn't have a system like what you work in, and they're going to be forced to change this year. You're going to see it, and it's going to be good. Good. Very good. Well, that's good. Well done. Thank you. Tracy. 
Yes. <laughs> and I'll tell people again, come and join our miraculous group. It's worth the coffee a day. You get so much support. Our academy members are very supportive of each other. You put a question up, and in less than five minutes, somebody's there to help you, give you support, tell you what you need. So it's a good community to join, and I want to say thanks to everyone in my community that has been there to support me and Tracy, too. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you called in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, this is what it's about right now. Like It's what Jennifer was saying. What is ready to shift? What can you do more? And so often it's hard. It's hard to find a community that says, I'm actually here for you. And I know everyone can say that, but we're here for you. Like she said, we've got a naturopathic doctor in our community to help so many people, homeopathic people, lawyers, doctors, whatever, you know, like, it's so lovely that whatever you require, someone can say, I can help you with that. Um, you know, beautiful story that we had to get a woman out of our group that was in a very abusive situation. And we said, what area are you in? There was a realtor in that area. She was able to help her, get her into a place she needed that weekend with somebody that was very connected in faith. And this is the thing, if you understand this, if you understand that's the power of community, that's the power of helping your words. You know, somebody put up there, oh, I feel so broke. Oh, let's wipe that out. Let's not say that that word is going to draw more of that energy. If you're saying something like that, or, oh, I can't afford that. I, when I couldn't afford something, I didn't say I couldn't afford that. I said, okay, we can't do that right now, guys, but we're going to be able to do that. We're going to just change some things right now, but just not right now. We'll find a new time to do that. Not I'm broke. I can't afford that. Those words draw more of that towards you. So this is a place where if you can use your words and you can start to understand, we can keep teaching you and allowing you to connect. And every day is a different message based on what is channeled by that God consciousness and what comes through. So there's nothing can't. And the other thing is you have access to hundreds of videos that were done before that you can go and clear. We've never, I've never, I wanted to create something when I was asking God to do this and with our academies is how can we create something very different, very different. And it's very different. I went and looked at what other people are doing. I'm like, this is nothing. This is nothing you deserve. It's like tithing. When you give into something or a church, what do you want back? What do you want back? what nothing you're just a prayer and a hope and a whim i didn't want this this is like tithing this is giving but you get back so much that we fill your soul god is filling your soul your spirit and that blessing so it comes back and it also part of it goes to our outreach our initial our well we just change it to the initiative fund so it goes in there but every bit of that so it's you got to look at it like you're giving you're tithing but you're gonna get so much back that god keeps blessing and expanding that's the key that's the key. So I want to thank that hand of God of blessing each and every one of you for heading in to a supernatural space of creation, manifestation, the way you meant to, you're meant to be and removing the fears and the imprints and learning how to use your words to asking and saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All the time. Power of three, right? Where can I put more of this in? How can I receive more? Show me the way using words like this and feeling it like we did with Madura, feel it. That's going to give you the truth. So you become empowered. You become connected directly. No more fear. Let's thank that and God moving that out. Ask, you shall receive. Repeat that. Ask, I shall receive. What do you need to ask for? And watch your words. Thank you, God, for bringing in more supply, more overflow. Show me what I'm not seeing. I hope you'll take that. I, I hope you enjoy our show. I know you're going to love our show next week with John Burgos. Make sure you check it out. He's from Beyond the Ordinary Show. I was on his show. It was so blessed to have him on ours. Check it out. We will see you same time, same place. And check us out at tracehaleclark.com under the online academy. You can see how we can work together and shift your reality. Because I know for me, I love my community. And I don't want to be alone out there with what's going on. So food for thought. All right. I love you. Have a great week. And we'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to the Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., where I teach you how to connect to the God consciousness so you can unlock your superpowers and connect at light speed and live your extraordinary life. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where together we will unlock the secrets of your body and your life. 
As a founder of the Body Regeneration Academy, I, Tracy L will provide you with the insight and simple tools you can apply right now in your life to move you forward and leave the past in the dust. To join the Body Regeneration TLC Online Academy, make sure you check me out at tracylclark.com.